If you're going to do a mailing campaign for your business, there are some things to think about. And we're here with Michael from Footprinting to uh, remind us and give us some guidelines of of what to think about before you do that uh, that mailer. Well, yeah, there's there's definitely a lot of different options if you're using uh, USPS to send out a mailer to try to get at your customers. First of all, you know, a big one is who are your customers? You know, are you a company that's B2B, business to business? Are you a company that's business to consumer and your main market and audience that you're trying to get to is the end purchaser of this product? Those are two huge ones, and those are going to affect everything from how you're sending out, what you're sending out, and and all that. So after that, when you consider who you're trying to get to, well, how do you want to send it to them? You know, it, it, if you're B to C and you're looking just to send stuff to an end user consumer, you might be able to get away with doing an every door direct mailer where you can just flood a certain area that you know is a good customer base for you. And then you'll be able to get your postage costs down, you know, down to like 20 cents a piece. Instead of having to get a list, print the list on the, on your piece, each individual piece, some variable printing there, we just did a video on, and then pay, you know, standard postage around 31 cents a piece. Or, you know, do you want to send something big out directly to some people that you know, get the list or, you know, already potentially have a list that you purchased from somewhere else and send just a huge big postcard that they can't avoid, but you're still looking at like 60 some cents a piece for that. Yeah. So those are some considerations, you know, who are you sending it to? What do you want to send to them? And how can you send to your customers or your perceived customers and and send to them with the lowest amount of postage? If we're doing a mailer, postage is always the highest cost. The print and the mail services are usually a lot lower than the postage. And so that's where you want to think about what you're sending to who you're sending. Is this, is this a mailer that you know people are waiting for this monthly newsletter that they're going to open it up where you could fold it then to a smaller eight and a half, five and a half size, where then you're only paying 31 cents in postage as opposed to like 68 cents or maybe even up to 84 if you just had a four page of that folds to eight and a half by 11. Those are all considerations that you want to do uh, to make sure that you're getting at these people correctly. Right now, we're doing a lot of stuff for the trades because it's spring. People are looking to get stuff done to their house, their yard and all that. And if you're a customer, if you're a company that's targeting and sending like we're doing right now, these huge, thick eight and a half by 11s for a, a tree service company, and they're getting a lot of leads from that. People, oh, I need to cut down this tree, but they don't get around to it. Well, they get a big you know, thing from you that yeah. says you're Google five-star rated, and then you're you're pretty likely to just say, oh, just keep this and call this person instead of having to Google it and do all those things. They're in my area, obviously, and they sent this to me because they obviously want to be at my house cutting down my tree. So lots of things to consider, lots of great ways to reach some harder to reach targets that you can't potentially get to online and uh, doing a mailing is a very good idea to you know build up your marketing and get to end users we can help a lot them. of good ideas and insight there michael and you know doing all these videos with you i've really come to appreciate uh you know you guys know printing, yeah, but boy, you know, you know some things about marketing and thinking about and, and the budgeting aspect of that. And that's, you know, if you need a partner to help you think this stuff through, you might want to consider uh, foot printing. Yeah, they can do the printing, but they can help you think about what it is you're really trying to achieve and maybe the best way of achieving it and, and how to go about doing it um, and, you know, even keep it within a budget. So uh, pretty powerful stuff. If you're not already at the website, you know where to go. And if you don't, Go to footprinting.com, foot with an E, printing.com. Uh, as Michael mentioned, there's lots of other great videos just like this. Um, so hang out, take a look around, and uh, watch some things and learn some things. And then give Michael and the guys a call. Thanks.